Ladies and gentlemen, there are only three entry-level tech jobs you should be focusing on in 2022 if you're brand new to IT and you want an easy way into the industry. Tech fam, welcome or welcome back to the Gadget Tools Unlimited YouTube channel. Do me a favor and push all the buttons and let's talk about getting into tech. Job growth in the IT field over the last couple of years has grown a lot. And it seems like now more than ever, people have taken an interest in the IT career field and are looking to find ways to get their foot in the door and maybe start that first entry level IT job. You know, in the beginning, especially if you're switching from something totally foreign, finding an IT job can be a little bit overwhelming. And I'm speaking from experience here. I was not always in the IT career field. I actually, before I was in IT, did construction. So I switched from construction over to IT. And uh, I, I did a video about it, looked through the channel. Best move I ever made. Now, while finding that first IT job or or trying to understand what it takes to get that first IT job can be a little bit overwhelming. It doesn't have to be if you know what to look for. And that's what you got me for. I'm here to show you what you need to be looking at to get in the door of IT the easy way without having the whole run around chicken egg discussion and all the other stuff that goes with it. I'm going to skip you past all that, so to speak. And the first thing we're going to start with is the term entry level. Now, parts of the IT industry have been playing fast and loose with this term for quite a while, as far as I can tell. It seems like you could just pick an IT path, whether it be dev, networking, cloud, throw entry level in front of it and get started right away. But that is not how it works. Not at all. In actuality, there are only three truly entry-level IT jobs, period. Brand new to tech? The line starts here, fam. It don't get no entry-leveler than these three I'm about to name. And so let's get into it. I'm going to name them and give a brief overview of each. Without further ado, the first entry-level IT job is Desktop Support Technician. This is a hardware-focused position. Desktop support technicians typically make between $15 and $25 an hour. This is gonna vary greatly over employer and experience. The job outlook for all entry-level IT jobs are is about 8%. So all three of these will fall in that 8% job growth year-over-year -year category. So what might some of the job requirements be for a desktop support technician? And again, this will vary greatly over employer but typically it's going to be knowledge of computer systems and troubleshooting of those computer systems. Most entry-level IT jobs are going to want, at the very least, a high school diploma. Some might ask for certifications. Some might ask for associates or bachelor's. Now, what are some of the duties that an entry-level desktop technician might find themselves doing. Desktop support technicians are more likely to spend time doing the actual technical work to resolve user issues. They should be able to troubleshoot and replace desktop, laptop, and mobile device hardware and peripheral. Remember I said this was a hardware focused position. So typically a desktop support technician is going to be dealing with the hardware of computer systems, mouses, keyboard, cable, remediation and replacement of computer hardware, mobile hardware components. Desktop technicians should be familiar with the major operating systems and understand the basics of IT network equipment. For instance, LAN cables, switches, routers, things like this. You don't have to have any in-depth knowledge of any of this, but the, obviously the more you have, the more valuable you'll be. But this is the very bottom. This is the entry level. Most of these employers are going to train the people that they choose for this position. So if you come in as a brand new entry level 
IT employee, the expectation is that you don't know much, but the more you know, the better, obviously, but we expect you don't know much. We're gonna train you in what we need you to know, and then you're going to progress as you go through the position. Desktop support technicians, desktop support technician roles can go by a variety of different names and they all are still desktop support. It could be IT technician, desktop technician, desk size support, IT hardware specialist. Some companies have IT and desktop support technicians doing help desk work as well. So it just depends on the company what the name or the title of the position means, but it's all still meaning the same. You can generally bank on any position or role that has the word technician in it is going to be hardware based. That's kind of a rule of thumb. Truly entry level IT job number two is going to be technical support specialist, better known as help desk support specialist. This is a software slash customer service oriented role. They typically make between 20 and $35 an hour, depending on experience and employer. This is another 8% annual job growth expected position. And here are some of the requirements for being a help desk technician or a help desk support. Again, most employers are going to require some knowledge of computer systems, troubleshooting and components. Obviously high school diploma, associate's degree, bachelor's degree, any industry certifications you might have. All of these are gonna be a plus, but at the minimum, you're typically going to need a high school diploma. Technical support or tech support specialists sometimes referred to as help desk analysts, are professional troubleshooters, essentially. They take requests from end users who have an issue and they do whatever is necessary, including escalating the issue up to a higher level of tech support or uh, system support until they find a resolution to the problem. Tech support specialists take a range of calls from technology users and some of the tasks that they do can range from giving simple instructions over the phone to escalating tickets to a higher level or outside in order to, to get the help that the user needs. Technical support tends to be the first line of support for all enterprise environments. Whenever a user has problems, usually that first call goes to text. Most IT professionals have gone through help desk in their career at the beginning. This is a typical starting point for most people. And finally, truly entry level IT job number three is IT support specialist. And this is simply a blend of number one and number two. They typically make between 25 and $40 an hour. Again, job outlook is 8% annual growth. Job requirements for an IT support specialist, typically, again, gonna be knowledge of computer systems, only an IT support specialist is going to need to know PC hardware and software, as well as basic networking. They're typically gonna need high school diploma, associate's degree, or a bachelor's degree, and this field is a little higher up you'll generally find employers that will put this uh, job posting out with high school diploma. And then you'll have some that will, the minimum will have to be a associate's degree. And any industry certifications obviously are always gonna be a plus on any resume and for any job posting. Now, when users of an enterprise organization are having problems with their computer hardware, computer software, or the network, this is when they're gonna call an IT support specialist. This is another one where the title is going to vary. This role can be called a system support specialist, IT support specialist, IT generalist, IT support generalist, IT support one, two, or three. The list goes on and on. Each company 
may have slightly different descriptions of what this title means to them. So you just really have to pay attention to the verbiage in the description on the job posting. But I'm telling you right now, all of them, no matter what they're called, system support, IT support, help desk support, desk side support, all of these are entry level IT. And these are the easiest way into the IT industry. You're starting at the bottom. You don't have to have any in-depth knowledge of anything. You will get trained on the basics and you can learn as you work. One piece of advice I would give though is that to, in order to make it even more easier to get into the industry at an entry level level is to have a certification under your belt. And the number one entry level starter certification for anyone that I recommend is gonna be the CompTIA A plus certification. This is going to give hardware and software and troubleshooting skills, not only for desktops, but laptops, mobile devices, phones, you name it. So this certification, the, the curriculum for this certification covers all of that. So potentially, if you get that certification, you can come straight out as an IT support specialist or system support specialist and even get the higher salary or the higher hourly rate because you're going to be more valuable because you're going to know a lot more than someone who only knows hardware, only knows Windows 10. So just to reiterate, this is the starting place to get into the IT industry relatively easy. If you don't know where to start, this is it. If you're brand new, look here. These three positions, basically two with a hybrid, is going to expose you to all other areas of IT that you might find interest in and as you gain experience and learn the environment and learn the ins and outs of actually working at the bottom on tech, you can move up in even in the company or in the area that you are focused in or stationed in because you're gonna learn new things as you move. Pretty soon, you'll be ready to start that junior system administrator or that junior network administration or that junior cloud, whatever the case may be. But you gotta have that base foundation underneath you. It is so important. It just makes you so much more valuable. And these three entry level positions are that base. This is the foundation on which to build a tech career right here at the bottom. And nobody wants to start at the bottom and it's not glamorous and you're not looking at six-figure income but when you start here and build your way up when you get to the six-figure income you pretty much can write your own ticket you dictate how much you're gonna get paid you dictate when you're gonna work you dictate what jobs you're gonna accept or not instead of the other way around and so that's great power and that only comes with great skill do me one favor family smash the like button so we can get these videos in front of the people who need to see them if you've not already subscribed to the channel, by all means, feel free to subscribe now. And if you want to be the first to hear about these videos when they drop, click the little bell icon. Before I get out of here, I just want to wish the Tech Fam a very safe, happy, and prosperous new year. We're going to crush all of our goals in 2022. And if you're trying to get into the tech field, this is your year. You're going to do it in 2022 and you're gonna be successful beyond your wildest dream. And I really believe that. And until the next video, Tech Fam, peace.